Hello, I'm Sean Woolley, Cloud9 Spain. With me, I have um, Simon Boxers from Habeno uh, Mortgages, Chief Commercial Officer, no less. And we are here today, Simon, to talk about a new product that you're launching to the market, um, which is going to be helping, or primarily aimed, at people who are buying off plan. Tell us all about it, sir. Well, I mean, you know it. Uh, you have been in the game long enough. Uh, a few years ago, we were able, when we had off plan clients, we were able to go into a bank, typically Sabadell, have a consultation on a table like this with a banker, look at the client's conditions, uh, the, the status, and the banker would give a green light on today's conditions. Yes, you would get a mortgage of 240,000 euro if your conditions are the same. Now, the banks have actually reduced a lot of the branches. They have reduced their staff, and they don't want to talk to a client if the deadline, uh, sorry, if the uh, title deed is not within four months. Why? Because a mortgage offer is valid for four months. So we have been talking to a lot of developers and estate agents like yourself that were like, okay, I still sell about half of my sales, half plan properties. My client want to have some sort of green light before they decide to put a deposit down, knowing that they've got the peace of mind that they would get a mortgage and, uh, and be able to actually go ahead with that purchase. So um, as we are busy, busy on our technologies, we have actually put in all the technology needed to actually be able to provide that services to off-plan clients. Um, so what we do is that we actually take today's status of the clients, we issue a pre-approval, checking that, yes, you would get the mortgage on that basis. The client's got the peace of mind to go and pay the deposit, so we actually help the decision-making. And then we will actually keep the client updated, the, the status of the client updated every three months. Why? Because they might change job, they might have a salary increase, they might buy a BMW on a leasing during that time, etc. So we actually verify every three months during the construction all the conditions of the clients. What we are doing is that during the two years of construction, we built a very, very strong, historic, strong historical file for the bank. And four months before the delivery of keys, we actually go in with the real, the real mortgage application. Obviously, we cannot actually guarantee that the, the client will not change his status during these two years. Uh, but it's actually, normally, if we actually look at what the client is looking for, they know that they might have a problem with their job in those two years, etc., that we cannot do anything about it. The important is that, okay, if I don't expect my conditions to change, at least I know that, yes, I would be approved by a bank. That's really useful, isn't it? Because that's always, well, not always, but sometimes a problem is that, you know, when you're buying off plan, which means that you're, you're reserving something that isn't built yet, and that can often be 18 months, two years, even further down the, down the road. Obviously, we, you know, we don't know what two years is going to look like. Um, so it's, it's nice to have some sort of, of safety net, some sort of, you know, idea on, in today's terms of, um, of the fact that you're going to be able to, to afford to, to buy it and get a mortgage. I guess... As you say, there are personal things that can get in the way of that. If you lose your job, if you divorce or whatever, that's going to affect your eligibility. But I'm guessing that the nearer the applicant gets to completion, if because you look at it, you, you review it on a, on a quarterly basis, you will know if there's going to be a problem or if the, if the applicant's affordability has changed, you'll be able to advise the client and say... Hang on, you might, if you're self-employed, for instance, you might need to pay yourself a bit more to, to show affordability. Of course. So we, yeah. can, we keep a close eye on the file. And also, I mean, there is always some fallback plans as well if something goes wrong. Uh, so there is always something that can be done. It can happen, unfortunately, that somebody has got a drastic change in their life during the two years of construction. It's not the first time that it has been seen. I mean, what, what needs to be avoided? The client will pay 30 or 40 percent on the private purchase contract when they fully reserve that property and then wait for two years. It's a lot of money to lose, um, and that is what we want to avoid. I mean, it, it's not that often that we have seen the cases, but we have seen the cases where the person is not able at the end to actually com go to completion. So what is the fallback plan? There is some plans with some private funds that will actually do a temporary loan for you to sign that title deed and give you the time to sell it on, and therefore not lose the 30 or 40% that you have paid in. Right. Okay. So that is something that can be looked at on a one-to-one -one basis when we really come to a difficulties yeah. with, uh, with somebody that is really stretched and cannot go to completion. Yeah, that is the nightmare scenario, isn't it? Mm. That you, you put that money down and then you get to completion and 
for whatever circumstances, you can't afford to pay for it, you can't afford to, or you're not eligible to get a mortgage, what do you do? And the, the option in the past has been, well, you lose your, you lose your 30 or 40%. What you're saying is, on a case-by-case -case basis, there's a possibility that a private lender would come in and finance that the, the, the rest of the purchase, and then you sign a contract so that you're given a specified time to sell that, that asset. Exactly. Which, uh, which makes sense and would mean that you don't lose that, uh, that deposit that you paid. Might be a lifesaver for that person at the time, especially that meaning that they cannot go to completion means that they're actually not in the best time of their life, obviously yeah. economically. So therefore it can be a very interesting operation yeah. when we come to that, uh, that negative side. That's really interesting because we do get a lot of clients who buy off plan who, who just want an idea of their affordability at that time, given you know today's factors. And of course, banks traditionally won't do it because there's nothing tangible to to base the the valuation on. And without a valuation, they won't they won't advance any sort of agreement in principle. But with this product, you can actually short circuit that and get an idea based on today's terms of what you can get yes. and and how much you can you can borrow, which then gives you it's more of a confidence builder. It then gives you the confidence to commit to that purchase, exactly. knowing that all things being equal further down the line that um, there, there shouldn't be there shouldn't be an issue which is nice so that sounds great i'm sure plenty of our clients will be interested in that again the link to the Hibeno, um pre-approval uh, is on the the bottom of this video so feel free to to fill out the form and get an idea of how much you can potentially afford all good information when it comes to buying a property it's good to know what your budget is before you commit that's what we tell all our clients so Thank you so much for being with us. Thank you for no your uh, wise words and the, um, the update on that product. Sounds very exciting. And no doubt we will see you again very soon. Very good. Thank you. Cheers. Take care.